hello everyone in this video i will introduce you with android development and the android studio environment in last video i have shown how to create an android project with android studio and how to link that project with gitlab now i am going to describe the environment and where to write code so when you open that project you will see this window at the left you can see the file structure of the project basically you have two folders one is application and the other is gradle scripts the first one is the important one because inside this one you will write all of your code uh, inside application you can see uh, the first one is manifest folder if you double click on that one file that is android manifest.xml that will be open and this file contains all the information about the screens you have all the necessary permissions you need for the android for example uh, gps or internet permission and so on um, when you will go deep into the development you will need this file more but for now let's don't worry about it the other similar file is under gradle scripts and um, that is build.gradle if you click on that you can see another file which is related to keeping track of all the basic information about the application um, something and which version you are targeting and which minimum version you are supporting these information are going into this file and also if you are going to use some external libraries you will have to put um, the code for that um, again don't worry about this uh, file right now we'll um, see this later the most important folders i'm going to talk about is java and res because uh, in these two folders you will work most of the time the first one is java you can see different packages inside that java folder and uh, you can create your own package for different modules of your application these three packages have been already created and uh, one java class uh, is created by default when you create the application if you click on that you can see a main activity.java file here so you will basically add different java classes here so basically we will start writing our code uh, in this main activity.java by the way in android development every screens are called an activity the other packages are created by default for testing so don't worry about them right now let's uh, start working on the first one the other folder i'm going to talk about is res inside that res you will find a folder called layout you will create all of your views of the application screens inside that layout you can see one screen has been created by default activity main.xml uh, this xml code creates the view of the screen if you press the design button then you can see the uh, front end view of that xml basically this activity is linked with this view you will have to link these two files together when you start writing code that's all i wanted to, to talk about on the file structure and the environment in the next video i will start writing code and develop an um, demo application for you thank you